Hello everybody, it is unfortunately the day after Christmas and unboxing bud Josiah could not be back from his parents house down in California. Uh, he was a little delayed. So again, this should be my final unboxing video uh, for this year. And the next one, again, I don't know which box it's going to be because no one has sent me any of the tracking information. I would guess the battle box would be the next one, uh, just because it was the first this month, and I believe it was the first of the month before. But, and of course, unboxing bud Josiah will be here with me. So, let's get straight into this box. Oh, by the way, this is the. It says Alpha Outpost, but it's actually the uh, the prepper gear box. Uh, Alpha Outpost had bought it, and uh, uh, basically, they removed their big item. Because their box is actually a lot more expensive than this one. So let's actually get into this and see what we got here. Like a feast off of this. Whoa. I'm sorry there, guys. I did not mean to do that. So it says the Alpha Outpost Feast Box, which I'm assuming is what this box is. So, um, you got preparing a cedar flank. Signs of a toxic plant. For those of you that want to read that little, all the detail. <laughs> so here, real quick, is your berries guide. You can take a picture of that with your phone or a screenshot or whatever. And of course, you got the chicken of the wood as the mushrooms guide. So try and straighten that out for you. So you guys don't gotta buy this yourself. You can just look at this if you really wanted to. If I could straighten it out the best I can. And you got the cattails, the herbs. And then there's a recipe, which actually sounds really good. It's pig stew. For those of you who want to try this at home. Wild pig stew. And of course, wild fried snake. Which, snake's actually not that bad. Not my favorite. But not bad. So, trying to find the card. So, there's your box code if anyone wants to go and uh, buy some stuff off Primus. It expires the 31st of May. So, I'm assuming this is the feast box. Enter and be satisfied. So, all right. So, first up, uh, what are you? Ooh, Creole seasoning. I have actually had this stuff before, and this is actually really good seasoning. When I was down in Louisiana, I got some. So, it has a nice even kick with that salty flavor to it. So, this seems like it's going to be all food stuff. And of course, it does come with the kindling, like every box. So, skewers for shish kebabs. So, what else we got? We got more skewers. Then we got a hashtag feast. No, uh, we got a feast patch. Uh, so we'll put that with our patches. Do like a patch wall or something. Um, uh, okay, chop knife. What is this? Hacha para usa en la cocina. I'm not fluent in Spanish for those of you that can tell. Um, so, let's open this sucker up. That is really not smart on my part. Open it up near the side of the blade. It should open it up on the back part here. So, nice little cleaver. I like it. <laughs> so, honestly, I'd probably never use it for anything. Um... But I could be wrong. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm an expert at handling a knife. Uh, for those of you who can't tell, that was sarcasm. Uh, I say uh, a lot. So a cedar plank. I'm going to have to, if I ever cook fish. Unfortunately, wintertime, I don't really do a lot of fish eating here. So, well, not that I do a lot of fish eating in general. But, you have to 
sear this up and put this on the grill when it comes time and I got some fish. Might go fishing with a box of bud. So, uh, so what are these? These are, oh, these are the fire starter tabs. That means there's a stove in here. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. So, fire starter. So, yeah, I got a stove. Powerful gas stove. Wind protected, pot supports, flame control for summer to boil. Includes classic trail burner mesh bag. Actually, actually before I start opening it here, as you can tell, I'm already a little eager on opening these. Uh, my old one I used to have is dead. I don't remember who I got. I think it was a uh, Coleman, but so there's all that. Then there's all the statistics on what you are carrying. So let's open this sucker up. So. There we go. This is what I was looking for—a rule book, an instruction school book. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Uh, so, a bunch of useless information. I don't need no information. Uh, not quite sure why they give me these, because these do not go with this. This is a gas heater. So you just pull this sucker out. This little easy guy. Oh no, I guess you could. I guess you could use it with this, right? So it's just the head. Okay. So you gotta buy a tank. Put on the bottom here. And of course you get the valve. I could actually screw this thing in. So, there's all that. Void compliance. And then, more stuff on the inside. Wonder if. Right here. I'm guessing if you wanted to, you probably set up a base. I have this. Set up a base there. Put these up underneath here. I, I don't know. Usually when I cook, I don't cook on the stove, so. I make it insanely long doing stupid things that are irrelevant to what we're doing. Um, welcome to my life. Let me just... Alright, I give up on it. I'll fix it later off camera. <laughs> when I'm not recording, you guys have to watch me look like an idiot. So, is that, is that everything? I got a bunch of kindling in here. I felt some. There you are. So... Looks like a Leatherman. Yep. Or Swiss Army knife, sorry. So, well, unfortunately, I don't really need one of these. I have like three of these things. But it's still cool to get. There's a wine opener. There's a bunch of different things. If I could actually, it's kind of hard not to. I'm trying so hard not to smack my camera. <laughs> so what all we got here? What is this? I'm gonna use one of these skewers real quick because unfortunately I do not have fingernails. So it is very hard. Use one of these if you don't have fingernails. Um, I'm a nail biter, guilty pleasure. Oh. So, yeah, it's not a very sharp knife. <laughs> that glare, that stainless steel is just messing up. The camera keeps zooming in and out. 
So that's a nice little knife. Uh, my favorite is definitely the Cajun seasoning. Yeah, I couldn't find that here. Uh, we don't really got a lot of places to shop here for stuff of that type. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely most excited about that. Oh, I put this stuff in stew and gumbo. Ooh. So, no, it's not, it's not spicy. At least I don't think this one, this is original. The one I had that was original wasn't spicy. Uh, but, definitely has like a different flavor than seasonal. Kind of close, but, into all the ingredients again. This is definitely my favorite item in the box. I love cooking, so. Is there anything in this bag? Nope. So I think that is, I think that's everything in this here box. Uh, let no man say, had I only had the tools and the train. So it looks like that is everything outside of the tender that is now spilling out onto my desk. So I know I'm kind of a little more boring when it's just me by myself because there's no real talk back and forth. It's just me talking like a crazy person, which feels weird but luckily the next video you guys will be seeing will of course have at least unboxing bud uh, josiah due to the fact that we're roommates so uh, not sleeping in the same room just happen to be in the same bed uh that sounds very bad no we're just friends uh best friends so anyways now I'm done with that awkward section of the video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't hit that subscribe button, I understand, but I will find you and your family. No, I won't. I'm too lazy. 100% honesty, I get lost on the way home. Oh, hey, look, these are actually different sizes. I didn't even realize that. See how observant I am? So, this one's a little wider, but shorter, and this one's a little thinner, but longer. For those of you. So, wow, I'm really observant. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, uh, you can continue watching. You don't have to subscribe. Honestly, I could care less if I had zero subscribers. As long as I have people that love watching my videos and enjoy it, listening to me uh, rattle on and forget what the heck I'm saying. So, again, for those of you that are wondering, here is the Primus Us, no, oh, U.S. code. Alpha Outpost 30. I'm sure this is actually a uh, everyone code who enters this, so I don't think it's a first come, first serve. But if you guys like our videos, continue watching. Back to what I was saying. See, I, I lose focus so easily. <laughs> I've already put, probably put this up another three minutes just because I keep rambling on. Anyways, you like the video, you can subscribe, you can keep watching. It's easier to subscribe. Videos pop up in your feed, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> anyway, to all of us here at Unboxing Buds. I hope you guys had a good holiday, and I hope you guys have a great day.